everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case this is your first time watching, my name is Stav and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. Today, I wanted to do something fun and talk about how you can make your own holsters out of things that you might not have ever thought of before. In this video, I'm going to be giving you one example of a way I've been carrying lately that I kind of put together myself and give you five principles to help you in case you want to do something similar, in case you come across something and think this might make a good holster, but it's not really designed for that quite yet. So let's go over those five things. A couple months ago, I was in this store called Altered State. It's a clothing store, but they also have uh, books, accessories, shoes, bags. So I was walking around just browsing and I came across this. And I've seen these kinds of bags on people a lot lately. It's kind of a newish trend, at least it's just becoming popular, where you wear the bag up here. And so I saw this and my first thought was, that's a cute bag. I like the color. And then I thought, maybe I could put a gun in there. But it's just a bag. This is not designed to hold a gun. It wasn't advertised as a concealed carry bag. It's just a crossbody, wear it on the front of your body kind of bag. But I was thinking outside the box, which is my first tip to think outside the box. Keep your eyes open for opportunities and things that might make good holsters because this was not advertised as a concealed carry bag. Um, and the second I saw it, I thought that looks like the perfect size for a Glock 42. So I bought it and thought that I could make it into a concealed carry bag. Keep your eyes open for opportunities, things that you can modify in such a way that they would solve a problem for you because yes, there are tons of great companies out there that are creating solutions for women to carry guns in easier ways that work around our fashion choices, but sometimes you might have a need that's not filled yet. So when I saw this, I thought that this might fill a need and work really great for a lot of different outfits I have and the way that I like to carry day to day. So this is a pretty typical outfit for me. I do change up the way I dress pretty frequently, but this is a bodysuit with some mom jeans and some booties. I really like wearing bodysuits. They just make it easy. You don't have to tuck anything in, but bodysuits do make it hard to carry a gun. So in a situation like this, I need to kind of figure out my own solution for how I'm going to carry. Especially with spring coming up, it can be harder to conceal as we shed those layers. So I'm going to be creating a spring concealed carry video where I show you different outfits and how to conceal carry in each one. Thinking outside the box is not always encouraged in the concealed carry community and that's kind of for good reason. You should be safe whichever way you're carrying. Safety is number one and I will talk about that in a little bit. But many people will say that the only way that you can, you can carry a gun is in something like this, a Kydex all the way around holster that clips onto a belt. That's it, that's the only way. And I disagree from personal experience because if I were to carry in this every single day of my life, I would leave my gun at home a lot. That's just because of the way I dress. I wear dresses, I wear skirts, I wear leggings, I wear body suits, I wear all sorts of different things. And I just love to show you guys that there are other ways to do it and you can integrate a gun into your life without having to change your entire lifestyle. If you want to learn more about that, I have an online course that currently has a 50% off sale going on. So if you want to join the Armed and Confident Academy, I will leave that link below. The course is really designed to get you from someone who casually owns and maybe once in a while carries a gun to someone who confidently carries one every day. So these types of holsters, I have nothing against them. If you love carrying in one of these every single day, that's amazing. I'm glad you found something that works for you. But from my personal experience and the way that I live my life, it's just not a option to carry in this every single day. And I'd rather have my gun on me all the time. So I have to think of creative solutions to this problem. All that to say, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something or tell you that you need to carry in one holster or tell you what you should carry and how you should carry. Just think for yourself. Think outside the box and be safe about it, which I will talk about later. So you've found something that you think might work whether it's something that you wear inside your pants, an off-body carry option like this, 
The second thing you should be thinking about is concealment. In many states, it's totally legal to carry a not concealed firearm. You can carry it on your body, you can have it showing, and that's totally legal. Whether or not that's the case where you live, it's just something that I don't think is a good idea. It's not a good idea to let people know what kind of tools you have at your disposal. One, they could try to take it from you. Two, it could escalate a situation that might not need to be escalated. Three, people might call the police even though it's totally legal and cause just a headache. It's just not a good idea. You make up your own mind about that, just follow the laws in your state. I just don't advise it as being a tactically sound idea. So keep it concealed, whatever it's in, try to make sure that no, no one can tell what you have. So in a bag like this, that's really easy. When I got this, I could look at it and say, okay, that's gonna fit my Glock 42. It's probably too big for my Shield Plus that I carry most of the time. The Shield Plus is a 9mm, the Glock 42 right here is a 380, so it's a bit smaller. So if you can look at it right here, I kind of knew that it was about the same size as this bag, just looking at it. I knew that this would be the right size for the Glock 42. Or my Ruger LCP Max, which is even smaller than my Glock 42, but I will normally carry this in it if my husband's not carrying this gun. If he is, then I'll carry my Ruger LCP Max because I do enjoy shooting this a little bit better than the Ruger. So the front pocket has places you can put your credit cards, your library card, just a bunch of cards. Uh, I keep my chapstick in here, just whatever, lip gloss, anything in that first pocket. That's the pocket that I use. That's the one that I go in and out of as I'm out and about. The back pocket is the one that holds my gun. So that's the one I shouldn't really have to open while I'm out and about in public and hope I never have to open, God forbid, to draw my gun. But that's the one where I put my gun. When I saw this, I thought, I don't want to just throw my gun in here because yes, it's a separate compartment, but I prefer to have some sort of hard holster around my gun so that nothing can accidentally push the trigger through the fabric. Like if I have stuff in this first pocket, there's a thin layer of material in between that pocket and the gun. So if I have like a pen in there and the pen somehow gets into the trigger guard between the fabric, I just don't want any room for error. So I wanted to be able to put a holster in here. So that's gonna go into tip number three. Make it safe. Safety should be top of your mind when you're thinking about whether or not you should create your own type of holster, or even if you buy a holster, you always wanna make sure it's safe. And that doesn't necessarily mean only Kydex, like only Kydex is safe. There are so many other options out there and I go through a lot of them on my channel. So if you're looking for ideas, make sure you check out my concealed carry videos where I show you different ways to carry. But when I saw this bag and I was trying to think of how to make it a safe concealed carry option, a little light bulb went off in my head. And I knew I had this, which is a Velcro holster. This is from a concealed carry bag. They usually come with something like this. So your gun will slip into it like that in whatever pocket. And there's usually Velcro inside the concealed carry bags if they're designed for that. And that's what holds the holster in place. So I knew I had this. And then I also knew that Walmart sells these industrial strength Velcro strips. <laughs> Hi, my girl. Um, so I have used these for holsters before. So I know that they work really well, but you have to get the industrial strength ones. I don't know about the regular ones. I haven't tested those out, but I figure go big or go home. If you're counting on something to work properly, just get the good one, pay the extra dollar and get the industrial strength ones. So these are sticky on both sides. She's so needy. Hi, Mila. And then you separate it and you have your Velcro situation. They're really strong, so, which is good. So you separate it like that and you've got your two pieces that will then stick together. So since I have this holster, I just needed one side of this. But you can put the other side, if you have like a Kydex holster like this that will fit if you're gonna do something similar. You can stick it on the back of the holster. You can cut it if you need to, stick this to whatever. But I did have a Velcro holster. So I have my Velcro holster and the other side of the Velcro and my plan was to stick this inside the bag and then I can put the holster in there however I want. I can like angle it differently inside the bag. I stuck a piece of that Velcro in here, if you can see that in there. And so when I carry my gun in it, I take this Velcro holster and I put it exactly where it needs to be. And now I've got a holster in that bag. So now that I've got my holster in there, I know that I have a safe space for my gun to live. 
I can take my Glock and put it right into that pocket, into the holster, and there it is, sitting nicely and safely tucked away in that holster. I'm just leaving the door open because the dogs want to come in and out. So now, I had my idea, it's concealed, it's safe, but now you have to make sure you can actually get to your gun. And I did have to make a little change to this bag so that I can make the draw easier. I'm going to stand up so I can show you what I mean. I'm going to close it up so I can show you how this carries. It has an adjustable strap and you can switch which side the bottom hooks onto, but I carry it like this and that's the best way to draw it but you can change it if you're a lefty and want to draw the other way. Again, this is not saying you should carry this way. I'm just giving you some principles in case you want to make your own concealed carry method, holster thing. Okay, <laughs> so this is how it carries. I love that everything is right here. If I'm at the store and I need to pay for something, I can just take my card right out. Um, it keeps my hands free. I'm not carrying like a purse or anything. And she's cute, you know? This is in style now, guys. It's, I'm trendy. All right, so I've got that front pocket for all my stuff. The two zippers here were kind of a problem. I don't wanna grab the wrong one if I need to draw my gun. My gun's back here, not up here. If the adrenaline's pumping and I can't really think, I don't wanna grab the wrong zipper and go, oh no, I don't want my lip gloss, I want my gun. So in order to remedy that problem, my husband and I thought of this wonderful solution to put a little lock here. It kind of looks like it belongs. It's gold. It's small. He actually found me this little gold one because I had a black one and it didn't look good. So he found me one that matches. It's gold. And it kind of looks like it belongs there. But this just makes it easier to find something big to grab when I want to open that pocket quickly. So I wanted to be sure, and you should as well, that you can access your gun quickly. You don't want things slowing you down. You don't want complicated things that you're gonna have to really think about and use your fine motor skills to have to open a zipper or something to get to your gun. So make it as easy on yourself as possible, but keep it cute. So I'm just gonna show you up close what happens when I pull on that zipper. It opens up the pocket and there's my gun in its little holster ready to go. So that's how I solved the accessibility issue. Now my last and final tip, which goes along with this one, is to always practice your draw and practice it a lot before you start carrying that way. I've been carrying in this bag now for probably at least a month and I reach for this all the time. Just because, especially now in winter, if I'm wearing a coat, I wanna be able to access my gun quickly and this thing has been amazing. So always make sure you get some reps down with your draw so that you can draw the gun quickly. This gun is empty, so empty your gun before you practice your draw. Just practice your draw a lot so that you can work out any kinks that you might have and you can get to your gun quickly. Another thing I really like about this bag is because of how tight I can wear it, it doesn't move, like it doesn't twist around when I'm trying to draw my gun. It actually just keeps it right in place. I'm just really glad I found this bag because it has, it has been really fun to carry in it and to practice in it. Um, and I just really, really enjoy it. The more you practice, the faster your draw is gonna get. Just make sure you're practicing your draw. Don't get lazy. And don't carry something unless you know you can get your gun out of it 100% of the time. I hope this video inspired you to just keep your eyes open for opportunities. If you have a problem and you can't find a solution, it might be something you never thought of before, something out of the box. So just keep your mind open, but follow these principles so that you can be safe and make sure you can actually get to your gun if you decide to create your own holster type situation. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, bye. Zippered pocket. What is it? <laughs>